got into design really by way of my natural inclination to be creative. For me, it was just something I always did and something I always had as a child, but really wasn't sure what I could do with it or where I could take it. And when I became aware of design and architecture, I knew right away that's where I had to be. Where do I get inspiration from? It's fashion, it's travel. Anywhere that I, that I expose myself to and I really open myself up is where I get the most inspired. My love of travel really started with my love and introduction of history in high school. I had an amazing history teacher and learning about where the world came from when it comes to design and architecture was amazing. And so of course, then I wanted to see it myself. My travels started in Paris. It was amazing to learn how well designed Paris really is, and then to learn that that was Napoleon's influence. So learning that something is beautiful is one thing, but learning why and how it got that way uh, is really interesting to me. You know, a fashion designer like Johnny Versace is um, quite avant-garde with, you know, the bold prints and the bold color, but when you really dig in deep, the influence is, is from the old world. And for me, designing today, designing here in our modern world, is really all about the link to humanity and how that connects us back to history. It's all interconnected. I often am referred to as the storyteller. I experience various things out there in the world and I come back and I really try to share those experiences through storytelling to my team. When I really get them on board and when I see that they are now feeling what I felt, that's when I know that I did my job.